Okay, I think this is as bright as I can get it. I may have to mess around when I'm editing and try to kind of brighten up, um, brighten or lighten it up a little bit, I think. So you guys can get a really good view of all of these polishes. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys all of the pastel pink polishes that I have from Essie. I thought this would make a really good video because all of these are pretty similar with minor differences here and there. But these are all different polishes, guys. They all have different names. Um, so you guys can see. This one is called Free to Roam. Fiji, which is one of my all-time favorite pastel pinks. My bottle is about right there and it's gotten a little bit thicker. I did end up buying a backup of this one. I went to Walmart. Uh, my friend Carolina told me I think that um, or I watched one of her videos where she purchased a new Fiji and the, there's a color variation so I took I took my bottle into Walmart to compare and they look uh, pretty much ident identical um, so anyways this is uh, no was it this one yep I think this is nope this is the one this is the one that I have in use right now and then minimalistic and lastly, Moochie Moochie. I also thought, since I'm here, I could pull out another pastel pink that I have that uh, has quite a bit more white. I wanted to focus on the Essie ones, but just now I thought about this polish here, um, which has even more white, I would say, than Fiji. So you guys can see that there. Uh, so this one is from Sally Hansen, the Salon Manicure line, and this one is called Pink A Card. Um, so I think I may have an old swatch on this one, so I'll pop it up on the screen once we get to it. But what I'm also thinking is doing a little swatch on the wheel, but I did end up swatching the four Essies on my nails so that you guys can take a look at what this looks like as a full-on manicure. So let me move these back. And I'm gonna start off with this one, and this one is called Free to Roam. This came out in the Flying Solo collection this past, um, earlier in the year. So, um, and then this one came with the, uh, the wider brush now, which is really great. So we're gonna do one good coat of that one. This one usually takes a couple coats, two to three coats for, um, for full opacity. Let's do it there. You guys didn't even see what I was doing. That's great. I've never done this whole um, swatch on the wheel thing, so we're gonna we're gonna test this out together. Next one is Fiji. Mine has gotten pretty thick, so I do need to add a little bit of thinner to this one, and I switched out the brush as well, which did make it a little bit easier for application, but I was finding because I've I've used more than half of my bottle. I was finding that it wasn't leveling out quite as well, so I do need to add a little bit of thinner into this one. Free to Roam, ooh, Free to Roam, and Fiji. Fiji has a little bit more white and uh, then Free to Roam, and I find that Free to Roam just ha is a little bit more blue-based. And then these two here, so I have Muchi Muchi and Minimalistic. We're gonna go in with Minimalistic first. These have a much um, more sheer formulation so not a crowley, not a jelly. They're just really sheer. I want to say Muchi Muchi even almost looks like a crowley. So this is minimalistic. I'm going to go in with this one. So you can see it's quite a bit more sheer. Do you see that? These, I feel, are more, they're more white-based. They have um, more like a cream consistency. This one's just a tad bit more sheer. So that's minimalistic. Free to Rome, Fiji, minimalistic right there. And then I have Muchi Muchi. And another, whoops, totally dropped. Oh, can you guys see? Okay. This one's even more sheer than minimalistic. So when, um, cause this is the first time that I applied Muchi Muchi on my nails, funny enough. I went online to check for reviews on this nail polish and a lot of people really love the color but despise the formula of Muchi Muchi. And so some of the tips which I found to be really, really helpful, a couple people mentioned to use a really good base coat for these and then someone else also mentioned to use a rich filler. So I used a rich filler and I was able to get it opaque on my nails. 
at three coats. So all of these are three coaters. I would say free to roam if the nails are a little bit on the shorter side, you could probably get it opaque at two coats. But for me, whenever it comes to uh, pastel pinks, I expect the formula to be a little bit uh, tricky, a little bit streaky, and requires three coats for full opacity and a little bit of extra drying time. But I've mentioned before, I am a lover of pastel pinks, and so I am willing to work with them. Okay, and then over here on the edge, I'm going to use pink a card from, um, from Sally Hansen. And this is the one that has the most white. I really wanted to focus on the ones from Essie because I wanted it to be an Essie pink comparison video, but I thought let's pull this guy out too. It's been a really long time since I've worn this guy. And this one also a tricky formula. I want to say it's um, if you're familiar with Fiji, it has a very similar formula to Fiji where it's a little streaky, a little bit patchy. Only that I feel like this one, the formula is a little bit thicker even from when I first opened the bottle to where Fiji was a little bit on the thinner side. Um, so I do find that this one takes about the same time. It takes a while for it to dry compared to Fiji. So this is pink a card and you can see it's even lighter. Um, so Fiji's over here. It's even lighter than Fiji. I have Frida Rome. That's one coat. I'm going to add two coats off camera, by the way. Um, Fiji minimalistic and moochie moochie. All of them though to me look amazing against my skin tone. I have zero complaints because they're so pastel. I feel like they stand out very very well. I actually forgot because I had these separate um, or set aside to do this video. I forgot to add one of these onto my summer seasonal rugs, which is why you didn't see a pastel pink on my summer seasonal rug. I totally forgot. But I was planning on actually putting um, Moochie Moochie, since it's one that I haven't really worn, uh, putting Moochie Moochie on my seasonal rack. I'm gonna give this pastel pink a chance this year. So I'm gonna add two coats on all of these. I just added Free to Roam. I'm not gonna add a top coat to any of these. I just wanted to do the nail wheel so that you guys can take a look, but I would have um, added swatch pictures on my personal nails for you guys to see. I feel like Frida Rome is coming off a little bit warmer in the viewfinder than from what I see in person. It could be the lighting. I don't know. Lighting is tricky sometimes, but the pictures that I take on my nails are in natural daylight, so you guys can see I try to get it as true to color as possible. All of these dry glossy. I don't know if I mentioned that. I also find that pink a card doesn't level out as easily. So I do have to work pretty quickly um, with this little guy right here. Okay, so that is all of my pastel pink polishes that I wanted to mention and do little comparisons for. So you guys can take a look at what they look like. I feel like in the viewfinder, Fiji's coming off even slightly bit peach. If anything. And then lastly, what is on my nails? Um, just in case you guys are curious. I don't know if I mentioned it at the beginning of the video. But I have on KB Shimmer. And this is called Prince Charming. Which is a white curly. And it has a co like varying colored glitter mix. Some uh, aqua, metallic aqua, metallic uh, purple. It has smaller glitters as well. It has some metallic pinks in here. It's one of my favorites. I don't have very many KB shimmers, but pretty much all of the polishes that I do have from this brand, I adore. I think they're really beautiful. I'm actually nearing the end of wearing this polish, which is why you see a little bit of grow now. I've been wearing it for a little bit now, so it's about that time for me to remove it, but I'm still enjoying it. I added an additional coat, I think about a day ago, and then an additional coat of a top coat. Okay, guys, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm trying to get it to where it lines up really well. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it super helpful. Um, this is pre-recorded. I'm trying to record a bunch of videos before I move because I'm not going to have a chance to record a lot of videos for a while. And so I'm trying to prep ahead of time to have videos available at least once a week. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.